Okay, this is that. I'll fix it. And I have the new, bigger, better uh, shower thing to go on the roof. Bigger and better. Hey, it must be bigger is better. Uh, in this case, yeah. Because this holds 12 gallons instead of just 5 gallons. <clears throat> and it makes a nice shower. So hang on. I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so you know how I work, put all my stuff out here, some materials and figure out what I'm doing, put on my thinking cap. Remember the thinking cap from last time, the uh, <laughs> the one I sat on before and the wife keeps throwing it in the garbage, I dig it out. Anyway, here's my cargo bag. I'm looking forward to a two week trip and I have three people in the van, that means we're going to need to put some stuff on, uh, on top of the van. So I've got this cargo bag and I've decided to design, oh by the way, the, the hat works good. Uh, I'm going to design this thing where it will be just the right size to put the cargo bag in between the tubes of it. It'll be sit right and nestle right in there and it'll be just right. So anyway, with that, let's measure the size of the old one cut the other side to be about the same length and we can just uh, put this thing together like Tinker Toys or Legos or whatever. It's kind of fun. So quick and easy the way it goes together. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So look at that how fast everything just comes together. Look at this new design I've got with the cargo bag in the middle. Here's the uh, where I'm going to put another valve. Here's the valve. These are so cool. I've got one old valve on there and I'm going to put this one on too. So I'll have two valves, one on each end cap. No matter which way my van is sitting, uh, I'll be able to just turn on whichever valve I want and drain water using, uh, you know, gravity feed. So that's going to be really nice. Now, yeah, I started sanding the paint because on this old stuff that I'm using and gluing with, I didn't know if the paint would uh, interfere with the glue. And it might, I'm not really sure. So I'm trying to sand some of this off. <clears throat> Actually, I, yeah, here's the glue. And uh, this, well, I think it's the same one I used last time and uh, worked really good. So uh, that's been a good glue. Let's just uh, try some actual gluing up these things, putting them together. So, yeah, I'll we'll just uh, stick a few things together and see how it's going. Uh-oh, we got a little problem here. I think I'm running out of glue. Uh, yeah, let's try some magic. Boom, look at that. I don't know, is this too good to be true? Let's check it out. Hey, it's brand new. That works nice. Let's try some more magic. <laughs> hey, let's get rid of the old one. Yeah, boom. Wow. Magical. Okay, back to work. Back to work. All right, so hey, is, I found out something else here. This primer actually dissolves the paint. And so instead of sanding and sanding on it, trying to get the paint uh, off, I just uh, put some primer on and then just wipe the paint off. Um, yeah, it seems to be working much better. So here we go, fitting some more things together. <clears throat> All right, so then the, okay, the valve. What really is key to make that valve work so good is this big rubber washer that it comes with. And it's made for uh, rain barrels and stuff. So then to drill a hole in the end cap, I just use this uh, wood bit for, uh, it's a big paddle bit thing, and uh, it works great. PVC pipe, who'd have thought? It works just fine. So we'll just put it in there, put on the rubber washer. I still don't know. Does the rubber washer go on the inside of the cap or does it go on the outside of the cap? I don't know, but I think it'll work either way. 
So just get that rubber washer in there for one way or another. <laughs> okay, so then we got the valve mounted in the end cap. Now we just put it on and uh, glue it onto the rest of the project. There we go. It's time to paint. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, yeah. Oh, twist and shout. Oh, I better not sing that. I'll probably get, I'll probably get shut down for, uh, you know, doing somebody's music. Uh, camp. I don't know how the rules work on that. <laughs> yeah. Well. Anyway, we painted it up with some paint, flat black. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's, we just fill it up with water and let's check and see how much water is in there. So I got some five gallon buckets and we'll just check it out. <clears throat> let's see, we got our first five gallon bucket full. Hey, nice. All right, hey, let's fill up another one. Let's do the other side just to check it out. There we go. Yep, look at that. We got another five gallons going on, coming out over there. And it's not empty yet. Sure enough, just as I suspected with my calculations, actually I just asked my smartphone, <laughs> how much water is in uh, this size pipe uh, for this length? And uh, Yeah, look at that. I got a half a bucket there. So, just as I suspected, I got about 12 gallons. And the old system, the old one, was five gallons. So, there you go. So, here I am making the brackets now to hold this thing onto the roof. So, I'm using three quarter inch plywood. And I just make the hole and cut the thing in half. And that makes the two pieces for each corner. That seems to work really quite well. See, there's one corner right there. That, that'll do. On each side of the uh, rack, uh, or the rack, roof rack, and uh, yeah, it worked just fine. So after I got all my pieces cut and the holes drilled in them for the bolts, I decided to uh, darken it with the flame, ah, burning my fingers there, and uh, this darkens and protects the wood a little more by uh, burning it a bit. So that's, and I like the looks of it. I, I just kind of think it's, it's pretty cool looking. <clears throat> so here's my next thing I do is a Thompson water seal. And it has some color to it as well. It's, it's a dye or, or you know, a, uh, it has some, it, I think it's called honey color. So I just uh, paint it on and let it sit for a few minutes. And then we wipe it off with a rag. And that's it, it's good to go. You don't have to wait and all that stuff. So now we'll just situate this thing on the roof. <clears throat> we'll just uh, center it and it'll be a nice place in the middle for my cargo bag. So we'll just slip some uh, brackets under here and see how we gotta adjust the roof rack. It looks like it's uh, working out just fine. <clears throat> so I've got all these pieces made. Here's how it's bolted on. There's my valves, two valves back there. So no matter which way the van is slanted when I park camping and stuff, I can use whichever valve works the best. Here we go. Just uh, prop the front up under these brackets and, and you can see how much higher the front is than the back so that I can use gravity. I don't care about, I, even though I have a Schrader valve installed, you know, so I could pressurize it if I wanted to, but I never did use the Schrader valve. I have a major design flaw now. You see, the tallest, or the, the front of this thing is higher than the back. When I fill it up, it doesn't fill up. I only got like nine gallons coming out of it. So, major design flaw, nah, nah. Hey, hey. you know, I got to redo this, cut this filler part out 
and move it up to the front because it's not filling up all the way. So right up here where my hand is, that's where I put it. I put it right up here. Cut, cut and re-glue. Okay, we got it all done and I filled it up and look at how nice it, that shower is with no pressure. It's just gravity. There, two five gallon buckets full already it's better. And we're gonna see if there's there's still more in there. Maybe we can get the full 12 gallons. We'll see. Let's turn it on. And look at that. We do have another half a bucket there. So, yeah, we definitely do have uh, two and a half buckets. So, there we go on our trial run for two weeks trip. And guess what? On the second day, yeah, we broke down big time. So <laughs> engine mounts failed. We got like three, four broken engine mounts and the bottom thing underneath here with the bolt fell out and we lost it somewhere along the way. And I held it all together with a big rock and a ratchet strap from, you know, uh, yeah. So that's because I'm now fix it. <laughs> I don't recommend you guys try that, but I held it together with a ratchet strap and a rock for the next two weeks and kept going with a nice trip and beautiful trip it was we had a wonderful time what a great relaxing camping and yeah the straps were good so i'll fix it here with the uh bigger better uh shower thing for the top of your van if you like to build one i hope this is helpful and that it helped you figure out how to go bigger and better. <laughs> yeah, so <clears throat> anyway, next, uh, I might make a video on how to fix the engine mounts on this van, because that's what I'm going to do next. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and hit the like button, and all that sort of thing. You know what to do. All right, ciao. Adios. And... See you next time.